There's nothing more lonesome, nor ragged, nor cramped than a backcountry line shack on a long winter's camp. But that was a choice made by old Miller Ty, who worked as a writer for the Too Lazy Y. Each season that followed that final fall drive, we'd pack up our gear for the first snow arrived and head someplace warm as winter set in, except for that cowboy who'd stay now and then. He'd have to make do in a small wooden shack and see to the cattle till the spring brought us back. Most of us boys tried to put off that day, except for old Miller who liked it that way. And so for the five years we'd known Miller Ty, he stayed on at line camp with no questions why. For none of us hankered to trade for a spot. We liked creature comforts for the small pay we got. But that was a subject on many a night, on old Miller's line job, which didn't set right. The boys often wondered about a man all alone out in that old shack and left to his own. So that's how it happened that one night, you see. We upped for a visit to be company. And being near Christmas, we cut a small fur to bring him some peace and goodwill on this earth. The ride was a long one until we arrived, but the cabin was empty, so we just stepped inside. Old Miller was out somewhere riding the line, so we we made ourselves cozy and bided our time. One of the boys who was nosing a bit found a half-written letter, started reading it. Then he read it out loud so that all of us heard. And we just sat there in silence at these humble words. Dear Martha, the letter went on to explain, it's winter already and I'm back here again. I'd like to be with you, but we sure need the pay getting along as we do day to day with little Bill's illness and doctors and such. It takes all my pay, and that ain't that much. But I ain't complaining. The Lord's been good to me. Without this here job, I don't know where we'd be. So give Bill a hug, dear, and try to explain that Christmas won't happen this year once again. He's a good boy, our Billy, and he'll understand why Daddy can't be there for his little man. Somehow we'll get through this. I just know it, dear. Till then, I'll keep working and staying on here. But someday, I promise, a place of our own, for you and our Billy, a right proper home. Well, that's where the note ended, but that was enough. Five years on a line camp. And times had been rough. Five years every winter out here all alone. Five years without family or Christmas or home. Well, things might have stayed silent, but old Bucky said, best saddle up, boys. We got a long ride ahead. So we left without letting them know we were there. Packed up our gear and left his note on the chair. And we didn't say much on that ride back to town as the snow softly covered our tracks on the ground. And when we finally sat down at Omar's saloon, a silence had filled each man in that room. We just sat there a long time, each lost in his thought, till Louis remembered some lumber he'd bought, and roofing, and nails, and other things too. Then each of us boys threw in things we could do. A whole plan was laid out by Don's early light with just one little detail to do the thing right. The owner, old DK, would have to agree. And he weren't the type to do nothing for free. But when we recited that letter we read, he took just a moment and said, Go ahead. In fact, that old son did mourn his share. He threw in a deed with ten head to spare. Well, when it was finished, we had quite a load of supplies and equipment and livestock all told, and ten loads of groceries all paid for and clear to the storekeep Miss Betty for the rest of the year. Then we headed back up to Old Miller's shack. But the ride was more cheerful than when we'd come back. We'd build him a real place with stock of his own, a place where his missus and Bill could call home. Of course, that would happen much later that spring. But for now, after five years, it was Christmas again. And each of the boys would spell them, 
to be with his kin, a gift of the heart from that small band of men. Well, we found Miller Ty when we arrived, but he sort of fell silent with tears in his eyes. And the best he could tell us was, God bless you all. But it was a look on his face I'll always recall. For that's when I felt it, and so did the men. The spirit of Christmas had come back again. The message of angels we'd first learned as boys. Behold, we have brought you glad tidings of joy. Well, there's nothing more lonesome, nor ragged nor cramped, than a backcountry line shack on a long winter's camp. Except for that cabin on the Too Lazy Y that's home to that family and their son, Billy Ty. God bless you and Merry Christmas.